Hello and welcome back to the channel and welcome to a beer that, to be honest, I never really thought I'd review. It's Heineken. It's the one massive, just owns everything, giant of European lager, Heineken. So you're probably thinking, Tom, generally speaking, you go for high quality or obscure rare beers. And that would be true. However, one thing I do need to admit is I have a bit of a soft spot, not necessarily for Heineken, but I do have a soft spot for these mass-produced, large-scale, macro, infinitely large, run-of-the-mill, generic lagers when they are actually produced well, where they should be. And if you're thinking, what do I mean by that? Well, actually, you'd be surprised to find out, in this country, right now, Heineken is made in this country, Beer Moretti is made in this country, San Miguel is made in this country, and the likes of Madri have well, never been made anywhere else but this country. So... Yeah, this is a bit of a difficult one normally because, well, I'll be honest, our ability to brew those beers here well, we can't. They're never any good. It's why I ignore them. It's why I'm not interested. And I was walking around my local Lidl store this morning and I spotted these. A six-pack, 330ml cans, and something in the back of my head just went... That's not a normal UK issue kind of pack size. Don't know why we do 330ml cans, we do six packs, but for whatever reason, a six pack of 330ml cans from a giant like Heineken just isn't a staple on our supermarket shelves. And it pricked my interest. And I was right to do so because these, in little right now, are imports. These are the real issue. They're genuine Heineken cans from the Heineken factory in the Netherlands. And it's the real deal. So I thought it might be fun to review it and see if my opinion of this beer changes any with, well, yeah, the real deal. So, I mean, I'll show you the can, but it looks like any other Heineken can, except for the fact that if we go onto the back here, and I'm gonna zoom in a little with the camera properly so you can read it. Here we go, where's the important bit? Brewed in the Netherlands, imported by Heineken UK Limited. Yeah, it's the real deal. And for those of you who do also have a soft spot for genuinely produced European lager, even if it is the mass produced stuff, this is currently on sale in Lidl for a whopping £5.75 for a six pack. So it's less than a pound a can, which in today's economy is actually very good, especially given that it's an import, although it is only a 330ml can. So I wouldn't say it was super cheap, but it's certainly not uh, over the top either. Right then, let's get into it, shall we? For this, I'm going to use my Laws Brewing Co. sleeper proper pint glass, lager glass, should I say. And let's get into this one. It, of course, won't fill the pint glass because it is only a 330ml can, but... It has been a long time since I've had a genuine imported Heineken, so I'm going to be fascinated to see what this tastes like. Hey, sorry to interrupt, but this is kind of important. Currently, only 29% of people who watch my videos regularly are actually subscribed to this channel. And in order to be able to bring you bigger and better content, that figure needs to get closer to 50%. So please, if you wouldn't mind, just click that subscribe button below the video. It doesn't cost you anything and it would help me a whole bunch. So thank you and now back to the video. I've got to say, it looks good, doesn't it? It's got a nice golden kind of, it's like yellow hue, big soft white head on it. It looks like a proper lager, heaps of carbonation as you can see there. I mean, it's nothing special probably, but it does look the part, doesn't it? Right then, aromas. I can already tell. I can already tell. This is, I mean, it has character. It's got that kind of dry, bready, sweet, refreshing aroma that proper European and distinctly German lagers tend to have. I know this is from the Netherlands, but they are very close neighbors. And yeah, I think on a blind taste test, if you'd said, Tom, what is that? I probably told you it was a high quality German lager. The nose, the aroma on it is genuinely very, very good. Will that continue into the taste though? Let's find out, shall we? Cheers. Okay. If this had been a genuine, proper, highly respected German brewing lager, 
I probably would have been a touch disappointed. But, oh, it's so much better than what we make here. It's so annoying. I mean, look, I'm not advocating for going out and buying Heineken. I want people to go out and support their local beer industry. But at the same time, a generic craft high quality lager isn't something that's always available in the UK. Whereas stuff like Heineken is and... Well, I just wish we had the import because it's not wowing. There's nothing impressive about it, but you don't get those slightly naff, synthetic off flavors that I always think you get with European lagers that are brewed in the UK. Now, I'm going to try and do a quick top to bottom taste test. Full disclosure, it's Heineken. It doesn't have heaps of flavor. It's not the most interesting thing, but we'll give it a quick go anyway. So initially... Pretty bland up front, a tiny bit of bitterness, carbonation is good, mouth feels reasonable for the style. Next phase, sweetness, light, bready malt, but it is light. It's a hint, a suggestion of bready malt. The aroma is much bigger than the flavour is. And you know how the US is obsessed with light beer? Well, this is kind of light German lager, even though it's not German. And then back end little bitter again, flows into the aftertaste, it's pretty seamless, it's got a few more nice kind of sweet malt notes, there's not a lot going on, there's nothing really floral in there, it's a bit, it's basic, to be honest, it's clean, sure, but there's not a lot going on, but again, that's kind of what you're expecting with this, and there's no off flavours, like there are in the one we normally get, so hey, in general, I wouldn't recommend you drink it, but at the same time, if you are going to drink it, get yourself off to little and at least get the real deal because it is just that much better. And that really is all I've got to say about it. So as always, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like it. If you haven't already, subscribe if you will be so kind. And I'll catch you next time. Cheers.